In this video, I'm going to use, show you how to use the slice feature in Cricut Design Space to create a decal. I really like to use the slice feature when I'm layering because I like to take out as much as I can so it's not very thick or chunky in certain areas. So I'm going to just show you this logo since it only has a few colors. So what I'm going to do first is make sure all of my pieces are ungrouped, which they are not. So I'll, I'm going to ungroup the blue and the white part. I'm going to select the red part, the words, and I'm going to move it to the front. So what I'm going to do is just kind of line this up and I'm going to select the red one while holding my shift key. I'm going to select my white layer and I'm going to slice. And now I'm going to remove the pieces that I don't need. So I don't need this white slice result piece right here, just the small sections here. But now you see what it did to, I'm going to zoom in a little for you guys. Now you can see it cut out my red too, and I don't want that. So I'm going to take my red pieces and I'm going to weld them back together. And now I'm going to take my red layer, select my blue layer, and I'm going to slice. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to delete my blue layer from the slice, and I'm going to take my red layers and weld them back together. So now you'll see when I take this apart, I've got, when I lay them down together, or, uh, it's not going to be really thick and chunky. It's all gonna kind of fit together like a puzzle and be flat which is what I like when I layer. So now quickly I'm going to show you just another little thing about slicing. So I'm, I have a little group here, I'm going to unhide, I'm going to ungroup it. So I just put up a shape and I picked a, um, I just typed up a word, I just have the Cricut Sans font. And you'll notice when I have this selected and I select my rectangle, it does say slice, but usually it doesn't allow you to do that. Usually you have to weld your text together before you slice it. Uh, you can't make changes once you weld and save your project. So I always duplicate my word or anything before I weld it and I hide it in case I ever wanna come back and make edits to my project. So this will allow us to slice So then we can just remove these pieces. Now I'm going to take this, make it red, and I'm going to show you how, I'm going to contour this out while I let you know what I'm going to do. So instead of slicing for things like this, if you want to remove something, uh, remove, wor re remove words from a shape or whatever, you don't have to slice, you can just attach your words. Now it's all going to turn the same color, but when you go to weed it, you're just weeding, you weed out the part that it cuts. You can see the cut lines here. So you're just going to weed out those pieces. So it has the same effect as slice. So you don't always have to slice um, when you're doing stuff like this. Um, and that's all.